Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to take the humble carrot and use it in our slow stitching. We'll make unique carrots using interesting fabrics, somewhat whimsical, and we'll add a found object to make the greenery. We want this carrot to look more garden than grocery store. And then to add to it, to make it look like it was plucked from the ground, we'll stitch some roots. It's a really clever craft, and I hope you enjoy it and you can use it in your work. Now this is something you can do ahead of time. You can just stitch a few carrots together and add them on scraps of fabric and then use them in your work as needed. Or you can make it the focal point of your work and stitch it with intention. So let's get started. So to make my carrots, I'm using this found object. This is just some artificial ferns. They're kind of plastic coated. I'm sure you can find some that are what they call the silk, which are kind of like a nylon or a polyester, but these will suffice. I just took them off the, the grouping here. You get these in the floral supply section of various stores because I'm gonna use one of the ferns or at least cut it down to use as the greenery for the carrots. So I just have these little bolt cutters here for that purpose. I have my page because I'm gonna make this into a book page, but the process is the same whether you're making it as an element that you'll add to future work, or if you wanna make it as the star focus of your show. When I was getting my book page here, I found this piece of lace. It was just a wonderful coincidence, really. It's an old piece of lace, and I think I'm just gonna use that as the background. It just adds something elegant to it. So that's kind of starting to come together and I'll trim it accordingly. It just happened to work out to fit so nicely. But I chose three colors of fabric to make for my carrots. Now I really love these colors. The orange is more traditional, but it's a pattern. So it's gonna look a little whimsical. Then I have this red fabric that I tea dyed. And you can see that it's a little dimmer than the bright red and white polka dot that it came with. And then I have this little beehive print, and I just think these are so perfect, and together they look lovely. So I'm going to have my three carrots over here, and I just want to plan the design work. I'll stitch it down and then show you this, as well as some modifications on this technique. So I'll start with my first carrot here, figure out how long I want it. And as we know, carrots come in all different widths and lengths and whatnot. So you can really have fun with this one. I like them to be somewhat symmetrical. They don't have to be, and that's the beauty of this. If it's not symmetrical, it's kind of whimsical, and that's kind of fun. I like to round the top of the carrots, and then I just kind of create that long triangle. Now, I like to make the carrots dangle and, and look like they were just pulled out of the ground so this is too large for my carrot, but that's okay. This is how you start the process. I like the length. Just trim it a little bit, and then I can come right back. So that's looking nice. I prefer that size. Now I'll do the same thing, and I think I'll have my yellow carrot next. You can do it whatever combination you like. I'll just cut off the top and I do like them to be different lengths so again just to make it somewhat symmetrical fold my fabric in half and then cut the carrot and it wound up a little bit longer but that's kind of the way I was envisioning it then I'll take my last piece here You can make as many as you want. I just thought this bunch of three carrots with these colors was quite whimsical. This combination of shapes would be really ideal for this project. And I like to have a little overlap. So that works out well. The shapes are just a little different. I can play around with it. And now I'm gonna extend the bottom with stitching. So I really wanna play around with it. And I also want to make sure that I have enough room up top to use the greenery. So I am going to trim these carrots down just a little bit. And you know, even little short stubby carrots are kind of cute. Now I don't want to have that heart shaped, so I'll just kind of pull that around. That's a little bit better. And the same thing over here.
again I did it so I gotta try and get rid of that heart shape and the same thing with the yellow So I think that works a little bit better for me and it gives me a little space here to make my stitching. Now before I did the video when I found the fabrics I wanted I went through my scrap stash of threads. These are threads that I don't have the labels for and I just found colors that coordinated nicely or at least close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. I found an orange, a red and like this golden color and then just some green. So to get the tops of the carrots, I'm just going to clip some of these ferns and I'll need three total. So I have three right here. Now these are way too big, so I want to just figure out how many and how much I need. So I kind of like that length. I'll take some of the little fronds off the side here. So that's a cute little length. What I want to do is have a longer stem so that I can tuck it under my carrot and then just stitch it down. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll clip a longer length and then remove just some of these little fronds. Now having a little bit of length on the stem gives it a really great way to anchor. And I can even decide if I want to just use this over there and then play around with this. So I like that. I'll just take off these two fronds. And that looks just like I was hoping. So now for the design work. I'm going to use a couching stitch to stitch this green. Just little stitches going over the side to hold it in place. So I have one strand of embroidery floss in green. And I'll just pick that up. To take these off for the side for right now. I'll start one at a time, holding my greenery in place and just tacking over it. And I'll just do this as many times as necessary to hold it in place. Just with little couching stitches. And then after those are done, I'm going to take the colored thread that coordinates with the fabric carrot and just stitch right around those stitches. So I'll do that and show you that and then we'll work on the design work. For extending the carrots. So I finished stitching the top of the carrots as well as around the carrots with the coordinating thread red, orange, and yellow. And now I want to show you how I finish the piece. So working with this orange carrot I still have my thread for all my needles still attached. And I'm doing this just to show you. What I want to make is that carrot I wanted to have it long and stringy, just like the end of it would be if it was pulled from the garden. So I'm going to create a series of stitches, just small little stitches going down that looks like the root of the carrot. I like to do either split stitches or um, status stitches because I want it to look like a line. And the closest stitches to the carrots, I'll do multiple layers so it looks a little thicker. And at the very end of this little root, I want it to be as thin as, as possible. And I kind of change it so it's not a perfectly straight line. I want it to look like the root of a carrot where it's burrowing through the earth trying to find nutrients. So I'll just keep stitching it with little stitches. And when I get to the length that I want for each of these carrots, then I'll start to go back up and this will make it a little thicker closest to the carrot. So that's as far as I want to bring this carrot down and now I'll just continue up very close to the first stitches that I put in. Just like this. And this just thickens it as it gets closer to the carrot so it looks just like a real carrot. And it's just a little touch of whimsy that's a little cute because it's unexpected. The carrot itself is patterned and it's bright colors from the fabric. And then you have that 
realistic little touch made with a thread. So I think that's really precious. just like that. I'll continue doing that with the other carrots. So I've stitched all the little roots to the carrot. I think that came out really adorably. Now I can just trim this off as I see fit. I'm just going to take a little snip over here and I'll just leave this little excess here. I'll trim it up after I bind the book, but I'm quite pleased with the way this came out. I want to show you some variations on the carrot theme. So here I made them different lengths. Here I made them side by side, so I have an element I can add to a page. I have just one carrot here. And then if you're somebody who doesn't want to use the found object in your stitching, well, you can use the fern stitch. And I have a video that shows you how to make that fern stitch. You can just use that in your work. I just think the carrots are so lovely, whether they're the traditional orange, or you take some fabric with orange hues, or you take some fabric that really pushes the envelope, whether they're orange or just peach, or different colored carrots. And I think it's just a lovely design, and a really fun one. It can be used for Easter, but it can be used for somebody who likes gardening, or vegetarian, or oh, there's just a lot of possibilities here, and a lot of variations you can come up with. So that's how I stitch the carrot to use in my slow stitching. It's kind of a fun technique, and I love using unexpected fabrics, beautiful prints, and unexpected colors. Although you could always go the route of using the orange carrot as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.